This is Gene Key, KDDD News. The Randall County Sheriff's Department reports a 29-year-old woman is dead and her two-year-old girl sustained critical injuries in a hit-and-run accident Saturday morning. About 2.23 a.m., Randall County Sheriff's deputies responded to a call of a woman lying in the northbound lanes of the access road of Interstate 27, just south of McCormick Road. Paramedics transported the child to Northwest Texas Hospital, where she is in critical condition. The woman and her child had left home in the Amberwood Park Edition, about a quarter of a mile south of the accident. Deputies recovered the vehicle they said was involved in the accident. The vehicle, which was at the suspected driver's home, was taken to the Randall County Sheriff's Crime Scene Investigation Lab to be processed for evidence. The investigation is ongoing and no arrests have been made. NewsChannel10.com reports an Amarillo man is dead after a noontime traffic accident Saturday. 60-year-old Walter Perkey was driving a 1999 Ford Expedition eastbound on St. Francis when it began to drift into the oncoming lane. The Ford struck a Peterbilt semi. Perkey was pronounced dead at the scene. The Amarillo Police Department Traffic Investigation Unit was called to the wreck Investigators say Perky was not wearing a seatbelt at the time of the crash. The driver of the tractor trailer was not injured, and police say alcohol was not a factor. ConnectAmarillo.com reports electrical wiring sparked a fire in a Pampa house Saturday afternoon. Pampa Fire Captain Jerry Tomaschik said about 3.45 p.m., firefighters responded to the blaze at a home in the 1200 block of East Francis Avenue. When firefighters arrived, smoke was pouring out of one of the windows. Firefighters declared the blaze under control about 10 minutes later, and the fire was contained to one bedroom. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.